Why is this man secretly panicking? Does this man know he'll be belly dancing later? And how will these two react when their seats collapse? Welcome to the show where no one is safe. It's Sam and Mark's Big Friday Wonder! great show for you. Mm. In a moment, someone here will meet their ultimate heroes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll make sure Great Britain's most embarrassing parents pay the price for showing up their children. <laughs> and find out what happened when we played a game of In Your House with hilarious consequences. OK, Mark, you've not got long. Go, go, go. I want you to go into the dining room and get under the dining table. <laughs> You best be quick, cos they've found the spider. Go, 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 go! Mark, be quick, be really quick. They've found the spider. Kieran could be coming out of that bedroom any moment now. Get under the table. <laughs> and on top of all that, we'll have music and chat with the brilliant Union Jay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But first, remember, on this show, no one is safe. That is true. We know everything about every single one of you. For example, Mark, we know that you can flare your nostrils and raise your eyebrows at the same time. Let's see it. Wow! <laughs> That's remarkable! Is it? Yeah, is well, it? kind of. <laughs> All right, let's hope they get better. Trudy, <laughs> you're double-jointed. Show us. We'd hand over to someone else to name and shame our next unsuspecting target. Hello, I am Amy Lee Hickman and I play Carmen in The Dumping Ground. And I'm Jessica Ravel and I play the lecturer in The Dumping Ground. Now, we are looking for two sisters who are big fans of ours. They're sitting four rows back in the audience. And they come all the way from West London and their names are... Seba and Mascan. <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Sever and Muscan. We're coming to you. So, Sever and Muscan, what did you think to that message there? Oh my goodness, I was absolutely shocked. Yeah, because you guys are massive fans of the dumping ground, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, why do you love the dumping ground so much? Because there's so much drama. I'm always watching it. Oh really? Always. Okay. Well, it that's is good. a fantastic show. Well, it you'll is. never guess what. We've got a special game that involves our very own dumping ground. Indeed. Come with us as we play Who Wants to Be a Landfillionaire? <laughs> Welcome to our very own dumping ground. Smells a bit, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, sorry, I need some deodorant, oh. sorry. Now, Seba and Muscan, as super fans of the dumping ground, your mission is to rifle through this rubbish to find a variety of hidden treasures. We will give you a list of items to find. As soon as you've found an item, we will then ask you a question about the dumping ground. For every question you get right, you'll win a prize from the Wind Up Prize Stash! <laughs> oh, yeah, but be quick, as you've only got 90 seconds to win as many prizes as you can. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely great. Awesome. OK, then it's time to rifle through the rubbish. The first item cool. you guys need to find is... A giant apple core. Go, Stop, go, look. go! Look around, girls, look around. Maybe split up, maybe split up. Might be warmer over where I'm standing. No, well, maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it could be. Take a look, take a look, oh. take a look. Could be. Look, you look at <laughs> What is the name of Harry's beloved giraffe? Yeah. That's Correct. Correct. Go OK, on. next item. Fish skeleton. Fish skeleton, yeah. come on. Yeah. Look everywhere, look everywhere. Yeah! 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 Yeah
simple question. Which character replaced Gina as the main care worker in Series 2? Maylee. Correct! Next item. Chicken drumstick. Go, 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 go! Oh, wow! What is the name of the dog Bailey adopted in Series 3? Mischief. Oh, Correct. Correct. Good. Deflated football. Find a deflated football. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, what hobby did Tyler develop during Series 3? Magic. Correct. You need to find a tin of beans. A tin of beans. You've got 30 seconds left. You are smashing it, guys. Well tin done. of beans we're looking for, guys. Tin of beans. Oh. Look everywhere. That's it. Where do Don't worry. Yeah. Look up at the back. Look up at the back. Is it at the back? It might be, it might be. OK, you got everywhere. You can get this. You've got ten seconds left, come on. OK, come on, keep looking, guys, keep looking, keep looking. OK, Tony's oh. on! Well done, guys. All right, I can reveal that the tin of baked beans which I wouldn't touch, it's a bit sharp. It was there, in that oh, box over there. Oh, wow. lucky, but you did really, really well. You really you did. You did indeed. We can reveal that you have won four prizes yeah. from the line-up. Very yeah. 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 good. Yeah. Yeah. Severin Muscam, but now we're giving you the chance to win something else, something even bigger than what you've already won. Something much bigger, in mm. fact. How would you guys like to win tonight's star prize, a trip to an actual dumping ground. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, to the set of dumping oh, yeah. grounds. <laughs> yeah, I won a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course you do. Uh, as a self-confessed, like, super fans, what would that mean to you? Oh, uh, it would mean um, the world to me. Yeah, yeah you get to meet the cast and everything, wouldn't you? It's the thing that I've dreamed of ever since I watched the first ever okay. episode. Oh, let's oh. hope you win it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I've got faith in you. Do you reckon you can do this? Have you got what it takes to bag that trip? Yeah. Yeah, yeah come on! Yeah. In that case, here's Amy Lee Hickman and Jess Ravel with the killer question. Have a look. Good luck, girls. OK, here is your question. What is the name of the rich girl Carmen befriends in Series 1? OK, we've got some options for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you this once and once only. Is the answer A, Carmen, B, T, or C, Esme? Okay. C, C, Esme. Esme. Okay. Hey. You're saying C, Esme? Yeah. If this is right, you win that trip to the dumping ground. I can reveal. Come on. That is for <laughs> Tickets to the dumping ground, please. Well, guys, thank you so much. Here they are. Here they are. The tickets right here. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Now, is it, is it just me, or do they look a bit familiar? Mm. Yeah, they do. Yeah, don't they? I, do they, I, look they do look a bit familiar. These aren't just any old refuse handlers. Oh, no. no, no. no, no, no. Reveal oh, your true identities, guys. And there's your tickets right there. Ticket. You're off to the set of the dumping you. ground. Thank you. No problem. Well done. Yeah, wow. alien. Ladies, Thank what do you, you think to these guys' knowledge on the dumping ground? Oh, it's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it once more for Sebat, Muscan, Amy Lee and Jess. Woo! Hi, we're Galabro. And we suggest you watch Sam, Sam and Mark's Big, Big Friday, Friday Wind-Up. Wind up. Only on CBBC. And I play it. Oh, yeah. Tonight on the Wind Up Wheel, it's Union Jays, Casey and John. Hi, lads, how are you doing? Very yeah, excited for this. Good, I'm glad you're excited. Yeah. Now, as you say on the show, no one is safe, even our celebrity guests, as you can right. see. Which yeah. is why Casey and Josh are putting their well-being <laughs> on the line by going for a spin on this wobbly wheel. Isn't that right, lads? That, yes. is, that is very, yes. very correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's how it works. We'll be spinning Casey and Josh around until they're dizzy, sick, or maybe something even more terrifying. Now, they could land on any of these categories, but they have no idea what they hold in store. <laughs> Guys, are you yes. ready? Very doesn't ready. matter, very doesn't ready. matter! <laughs> it's time to... Wind <laughs> Yeah. 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 Stop that wheel! Oh. Ooh, go fine! 
themed. Fine. Guys, this is Omar. Yep. You've got to go find Omar. Go find him. Go find him. Where are you, Omar? Omar. You've got 20 seconds, guys. Where is he? Omar, yes, mate. Nice work. It's time to. Stop the wheel! Ooh, Ooh, prize question. Okay, lads, a member right. of our studio audience is about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> this, lad, this is Jaden. He's going to ask you the prize question. If you get it right, he will win a very special prize. Oh. So no pressure. Go okay, on, so I'm going to go up to Jaden. Yeah. Right, Jaden, stand up, mate. Stand up. Say hello to Josh and Casey. Hello. Nice voice. Is that your actual hello. voice? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So here is the question that you have to read out to Josh and Casey. If they get it right, you win a prize. There's the question. Read it out. How many zeros are there in 100,000? Think about it, guys. Sure? Yeah. Go on, then you say it. This uh, is on your head. Do you want to double check? Double yes, check. Yes, I would like yeah, to double, no, check. double check. You've got time. So You've got time. Draw. So one, zero, zero, zero. That... Six. No. Hang on. You said six. Five. Five. You, five. 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 you said five. six. Casey, you it's just five. went like this. No, he didn't. Six. Just... No. <laughs> 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 Which one do you want me to take? Your hand signal or what came out of your mouth? Five. 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 One. Hand five. signal. Five. It's five your final answer. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, go on, five. It's the right answer. You, my friend, have just won a digital camera! Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Uh, Six. I'm doing this OK, it's time to... Prop for this, don't we? This is difficult, this one, okay? Lads, I need you both to step off the wheel. Oh no. What's this about? One either side, John. Either side. Side. So you come this side, oh, Josh. Side, yeah. you stand there. Oh, we are God. not playing Family Fortunes if you catch my drift. We're not. What is this? We're not. An arm wrestle. Oh! oh. This is good. <laughs> Okay, so guys, <laughs> clasp hands. He's, he's, I think he's a bit bigger than me, but um, yeah, all right, here comes all the this, this is already. mind games. I feel like this is a mind game, isn't guys, it? Guys, guys. I'm gonna clean fire. Hang on, let's make you more here. More <laughs> here. <laughs> you can't, you can't, oh, no. To be fair, there's not much room on this small podium. <laughs> okay, best of luck, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, arm wrestle! Oh, Josh, Josh has taken the nerve lead. He's got his weight! Let's taste it! Yes. Let's taste it! Yes. There he is, there he is. Take a seat, boys. Guys, it's time to. <laughs> Impression. Right. Okay, now this is Rachel, a lovely audience member. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi. So, Rachel is about to do an impression of a celebrity or thing. But, but Boys, there. you have to tell us what this impression is. Over to you, Rachel. I'm bothered. I'm not bothered. Are you bothered? Is bothered? Oh, no, bothered. Uh, the little Britain. Yeah, yeah. No, not little uh, Britain. No. I think I'm bothered though. I think I'm bothered though. I've got her in my face. I've got a picture I, in my face. I can't do it can't in my head. I've got Catherine her face Tate. in my. Catherine Tate. Catherine Tate. Yeah! Yeah! Epitome of teamwork yeah. right there. How are you feeling, guys, after being spun round? I feel bit sick. Dear. Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. Oh. I think it's hurting. Sorry about that, that guys. Oh. Feeling good? Apart from that, I'm feeling great, yeah. Excellent. Feeling Ladies great. and gentlemen, let's hear it once again for Casey and Joe! Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Take Thank it you. easy. Take it easy. Pleasure. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. will be fine. will be fine. will be fine. Right now, it's time to see what happened when we took our hidden cameras on the road for a game of In Your House. You are entering the world of In Your House Extreme, an elite undercover task force charged with winding up the nation. The objective is to complete a series of challenges in viewers' homes. The routes are more dangerous, with more rooms, and each task is now decided on the toss of a coin. Agent Nixon, you will be manning mission control. Agent Rhodes, your accomplice is waiting for you at today's location. You must both proceed there immediately. And remember, 
Don't get caught. Agents, listen up. Agent Aiden, am I correct in thinking that you will be Agent Rhodes' accomplice in his in-your-house extreme mission today? Yeah. This is today's target. His name is Kieran. He is Agent Aiden's brother. Is that correct? It is. Wonderful. Agent Mark, this is the target's house. You will need to enter the house and hide in the pantry. Pantry? It's like a larder. Larder? Basically, it's a cupboard for storing food. Speaking of food, this is a Sunday roast that I knocked up last week, and, I mean, look at those Yorkie puddings. Oh, wow, that is good. It was great, Aidan. A place of art. Thank you. Agent Rhodes, this is your in-your-house coin of destiny. You will need to flip that coin when I tell you so in every hiding position. If it lands on your face, you will get an easier task. If it lands on my face, you will get a tougher task. Got it. When I flip the coin, I don't want to see your face. Standard. Shh. <laughs> this... Is your survival kit. Do not open this until I tell you to. OK. Agent Aiden, will you distract the target and help Agent Rhodes get in and out of the house without being discovered? I will. Excellent. This is your phone. When I call it, you will answer it secretly to receive a task of your own. OK. One last question, Agent Rhodes. Are you ready to go in your house? In my house? In Kieran's house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, good luck to both of you. You'll need it. Leave! <laughs> okay, Mark, the target is in position. Good luck, mate. He's in, he's in. Get into the pantry. Good. Nice work, you are in position one. It's time for challenge number one. You should see a bowl with some ingredients in there. So there's some butter and sugar. I want you to make a lovely little bit of cookie dough. Okay. Just start stirring it up. Whiskey quietly. It's really loud. Get your hands in there then. It's a shame this weren't my challenge. I'd be really good at this, mate. Got to the final of MasterChef. Shut up. OK, it's time for you to toss the coin, mate. If it lands on your face, you get to put chocolate chips in there and eat it, which would be nice. If it lands on my face, you get to put fish paste in there and eat it. Flip that coin, brother. Come on, my face, my face, my face. Sam. Sam. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, hold up the fish paste. Put a massive spoonful inside the mix. And then have a taste of it. You've got to taste your mix. Oh, go on. Get it in your mouth. Ah! <laughs> it's stupid face. How's that? Is that nice? Mmm, <laughs> butter, sugar and fish paste. <laughs> well done, well done. Nice work. Challenge one, done and dusted. The lads are none the wiser. They're sat in the living room watching the telly. They've got no idea. Well done. Time for challenge two. If you look in your survival kit, you will find a plastic toy spider. I am now going to give Aiden a call and I'm going to ask him to collect that spider from you. Hi there, Agent Aiden. It's Agent Sam. How are you doing? You all right? I'm okay. How are you? Good. Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah. You just head into your bedroom. Perfect. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Give us a wave, Aiden. There you go. Yay! Oh, there you are. <laughs> right, now, what I want you to do, mate, sneak yeah. over to the pantry and grab a toy spider from Mark. All right, bye, Sam. Bye. Nice. OK, Mark, Aiden's on his way. <laughs> Yay, nice work. Mark, what I need you to do now is to come out of the pantry, go across the kitchen and get into the dog cage that'll be right in front of you. Maybe crawl on the floor. <laughs> the, the one in front of you. No, 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 not that one, not that one. The one in the kitchen. Yeah, that's the one. That one. <laughs> I'm in. OK, Mark, I need you to flip the coin. 
if it lands on your face, I want you to bark... Like a little shy chihuahua. <laughs> but if it lands on my face, I want you to bark like a massive Great Dane. <sighs> Mark! Oh, no, all right, well done, then. A little shy chihuahua it is, off you go. Sorry for that little chihuahua. Nice work, Matt. Challenge done. Well done. I'm going to call Aidan again. OK. Nice work so far. Have you still got that spider? Plant that spider under Kieran's duvet. Okay. And what I want you to do is to go back into the living room and say to Kieran that you've just seen a massive spider and you need him to come and help get it out. OK, Mark, you now need to get out of the dog cage and go into the living room behind the sofa. Go, 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 go. You're all right. OK, Mark, if you look inside your survival pack, you will see a pair of tweezers. Get them out, please. You're going to do a bit of self-grooming, mate. I need you to pluck some hairs on your legs because they're really hairy and horrendous. <laughs> but you need to flip the coin first. If it lands on your face, you'll only get to pluck one hair. If it lands on mine, three. <laughs> what did it land on? What did it land on? Mark. Mark. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Get your leg out. And pluck one hair. Make it a big one, though. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long is that? <laughs> That's the longest hair in the history of the world ever. <laughs> well done, mate. Challenge complete. Nice work. OK, Mark, you've not got long. Go, go, go. I want you to go into the dining room and get under the dining table. <laughs> oh, no! You best be quick, cos they've found the spider. Go, 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 go! Mark, be quick, be really quick. They've found the spider. Kieran could be coming out of that bedroom any moment now. Get under the table. Nice work, Mark. Nice work. Come in here and I'll be with Paco. Yeah. OK. On your face, you have to pull the tablecloth off of the table. If it lands on my face, you have to put it over your head like a ghost and pretend to be a ghost whilst moving to the next location, which is the cupboard in Kieran's bedroom. Flip that coin, brother. Sam. Sam. <laughs> Time to get your best ghost impression on, mate. They're only in the kitchen next to you. <laughs> Get yourself into Kieran's bedroom. Don't lose it at the last hurdle, mate. <laughs> OK, get into the wardrobe. Hurry up and get in there, mate. Hurry up and get in there. <laughs> Time for the last challenge. It's a big one. In your survival kit, you will find a balloon. I want you to blow up that balloon, but you need to flip the coin first. If it lands on your face... You'll have to blow up the balloon, let it go outside of the wardrobe... So it whizzes around Kieran's bedroom and makes a funny noise. If it lands on my face, you have to keep blowing it up until it bursts. It's time to flip the coin, mate. Mark. Mark. Yes! <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is your last task, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, nice work. Congratulations, you've completed all your missions. You now just have to get out of the house. Kieran is in the kitchen eating a muffin. You need to get out of the back door and get into the van. Go, 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 go! Be careful, be careful, Mark, be careful. 
Somebody order order you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That would have been so cool. <laughs> Somebody order someone awesome. Oh, that's better. Get in, get in, get in. Well done. Uh, How was that? So hot. What was the hardest bit? Hiding under the table when they just walked straight past me. They were literally just next to you. Oh, man, I saw the light their feet just walking past. So, so nervous. Well, mate, Kieran has no idea, so I think we best get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Well done. Well let's done. Go. OK, on. let's go. That genuinely was a surprise to you, wasn't it? Because you didn't know that we'd been in your house, and because because Mark was so successful, we just left your house and never mentioned anything, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> <laughs> so we actually filmed your reaction uh, when you first saw that. Let's take a look. His name is Kieran. He is Agent A. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> nice work. So not, he didn't have a clue. He didn't have any idea. No, I didn't. And I've got to say, Agent Aiden, you did a fantastic job. Oh, but what I'm most intrigued about, because we filmed that quite a few weeks ago now, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you've had to keep that a secret yeah. from Kieran. How has that been? That's hard, cos I, like... We've been saying about, oh, we're going there, and I've been like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, let's not mention that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just outside, and Mum said, so, is that what they look like? And I went, yeah, don't you remember the TV programme? <laughs> <laughs> And nearly dropped it. Oh, really? Like, oh, you played a so blinder there, mate. Well, you didn't. Close. You didn't. You did fantastic. And you have both been fantastic sports. Yes. And you're not going to go home empty handed. No, no, no. We are giving you these in your house spy pens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Mark got through all five challenges with the help of Agent Aiden, we are also going to give you a spy watch, too. Is that all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he thinks that's good. I like that. Well, give it up one more time for the brilliant Aiden and Kieran. <laughs> OK. OK. Uh, but right now, here's what else is coming up on tonight's Big Friday wind-up. It's musical chairs, but so much more. It's the school of shame. Get the answers right or say goodnight. Hats on for ball fall. And Union J perform for us in the studio. Now it's time to play a game that combines our two favourite things, music and mess. All will be explained very soon. But first, let's find out who's playing tonight. Will it be this person? Dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. Nice. Wow. Nice. Very good. Very good. Will it be this person? It's just the way to Amarillo. Every night I've been hugging my pillow. Dreaming dreams of Amarillo. A sweet Marie awaits for me. Now watch me whip. Now watch me do this. Now watch me whip, whip. Now watch me do this. <laughs> that is it. Wow. That was amazing. Don't worry, it won't be any of those people. Here is who's playing tonight. In Mayer's family from Cardiff. But who will they be taking on? It's Zara's family from Ipswich. Yeah. As we play Carry Soaky. <laughs> Welcome to the game that is basically karaoke with a whole lot of water to boot. <laughs> One member of each team will attempt to sing while the other team sucks them through. <laughs> Whoever gets the most lyrics out correctly is the winner. Okay, now, Mayal, who's on your team? Um, Here's my cousin Alina, my brother Martin, and my mum Naz. Okay, and Naz, you're the nominated singer, is that right? Yes, I am. All right, can we uh, have a Salmon Marks Big Friday wind up? Salmon Marks Big Friday wind up. That's nice. nice. Bit of a brat, I like it. Bit of a brat. Love it. Zara, who's on your team? Um, we have my sister Lois, a family friend Maddie, and my dad Chris. Excellent. And is your dad Chris your nominated singer? Yeah. Why have you chosen mm. your dad? Because on the way here, we sung Les Miserables in the car, and he sung it at the top of his lungs. Oh, really? Yeah, this is our revenge. <laughs> so now we can embarrass him, because he deafened us on the way here. 
so it's <laughs> excellent. Well, that's why we play Carry Soaky, guys. So, <laughs> hey, we've got to hear a little bit of this. Liam Miz, come on, give us a bit. Look down, look down, don't look him in the eye. Look down, look down. <laughs> wow, I like wow. it. I like it. <laughs> Here we go, Naz. You'd like to take your place on the Carry Soaky stage. And Zara and your team, if you would like to choose your soakers. While they're doing that, Naz, we've got two songs for you to choose from. We've got either One Republic, Counting Stars, or Wake Me Up Before You Go, Go Boy, Wham. 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 <laughs> right. Wham. OK, there are 100 words in this section of the song. You need to clearly sing as many as you can while you're getting soaked. Are you ready? Oh, she's ready. Excellent. Soakers, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Let this game of carry soaky get underway. Jitterbug. Jitterbug. You said my soul skins. Hi, with jittering into my brain. Reveal that you sang 75 words. Wow. Very, very, very good. Very good. What have you got to say to your soakers? Now it's your daddy's turn. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. Chris, it is your turn to come onto the carry soaky stage. Naz, if you'd like to make your way down. Thank come you on. very much. There you go. Okay. Well done, Naz. Chris, if you'd like to make your way onto the carry soaky stage, thank you. And while he's doing that, Mayel, please select your soakers. Along with your two soakerists. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, I made it up. <laughs> right, Chris, it's time to find out what song you will be singing. Would you like Black Magic by Little Mix? Ooh. Great song. Or Reach by S Club 7? Oh. Another great oh. song. It's tough, mate. It's I a think tough we know thing. what the audience want. Chris, what are you thinking? S Club what? Reach. Yes! S Club Reach! All right! Yes! Well, once again, there are 100 words in this section of the song. You need to clearly sing more than 75 to beat Naz's score. Chris, are you ready? I'm ready. It's a good oh, score, that, tough, 75. That. Really oh. good score. I was going to ask if the soakers are ready. They're all ready. Look at <laughs> it. They're ready to go. <laughs> OK. Let Carrie Soaky commence. When the world is you pickling blue you can count on me, I will be there for you. And it seems all your hopes and dreams, a million miles away, I will reassure you. Got to all stick together, good friends and there's hopes. We'll never ever forget, I've got you. Christmas when you went, well, every mountain high! <laughs> it's pretty high, that. It's pretty high. OK, Chris, you needed to sing more than 75 words to win the prize. I can reveal that you scored... 90 <laughs> words! Yeah. Don't worry, you 
we're still going home with a big Friday wine up goodie bag. Yay! Yay! Does that sound good? Yeah. That sounds good. And you got to soak Chris. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> and Zara's team, you guys are not going home empty-handed. Of course not. You're no. the winners. Yeah. You're going home with tonight's star prize, a karaoke machine that comes with a hundred classic backing tracks. Loves it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it once again for our Carrie Soaky Superstar. I'm Dolly Rose Campbell, and you're watching Sam and Mark's Big Friday Wind Up. Why is your remote control stuck? Could all children congregate in the Wind Up Assembly Hall? Mr. Naughty Step Nixon and Mr. Twenty Star Jumps Rhodes have put some particularly embarrassing parents in detention. Jensen's mum Emily drives so slowly she gets overtaken by pensioners on foot. Elisa's mum, Sarah, chases her down the street for a kiss. George's dad, Darren, did a wheelie on her scooter and fell off. What do you call a woman who tells bad jokes? Lennon's mum, Nicola. And Kaylee's dad, Peter, blows air out of his eye. Welcome to the School of Shame. Right. Jensen, Elise, Georgia, Lennon and Kaylee. We're giving you the chance to teach your naughty, naughty parents a lesson. And in the process, one of you could go home with a fantastic prize, a tablet! <laughs> Listen up, because there are rules to be a bite. We're about to play a game of musical chairs with a difference. The difference being, your parents could get covered in slop. <laughs> <laughs> Every time the music stops, your parents will be seated in a random order, but You'll have no idea what that order is. One of you will then be asked to select a chair you think your parent isn't on. Whoever is sitting on that chair will get a bucket full of school dinner swill tipped all over them. <laughs> 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 yeah, Jensen loves it. My name right. is Lennon. Yeah, Lennon. I'm Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> Lennon, I'm Jensen does. <laughs> Good lad, you, you're taking notes. He's, like listening, he's listening, he's listening. Good. Well done, good. well done. All right, this is a game of pure chance, but make sure you get it right, because if your parent gets slopped at any time during the game, you are out. Simple as that, right? <laughs> and we play on until only one parent and child are standing or sitting. Juniors, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 yeah. are you ready? Yeah. yeah! That's better. Seniors, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. All yes. right, in that case, Mrs Stevenson, take it away. Right, seniors, take a seat. We're starting with Jensen. Jensen, I would like you to now write down the number chair you think your parent isn't sitting on. So write down the number, one, two, three, four, five. And to remind everyone at home and here in the studio, could Jensen's parent please raise their hand? Thank you very much. OK, Jensen, please reveal the number chair you think your parent isn't sat in. Show us all. Number one. Number one. Well, it's time to find out if you're right. Juniors, turn around. <laughs> oh, no! It's you and I! <laughs> sorry, that was Kayleigh's dad! Oh, so sorry. That means we have to say goodbye to Kayleigh and Kayleigh's dad. Round of applause! <laughs> Four seniors left, four juniors left. Mrs Stevenson? Take it away! <laughs> right, at least we're starting with you now. I would like you to write down the number chair you think your parent isn't sat in. We have two, three, four or five remaining. Now, to remind everyone at home, could Elise's parent please raise their hand? All right. <laughs> right, Elise, could you now reveal to us which number chair you think your parent isn't sat on? Two. Number two! <laughs> well, let's see if you are right. Juniors, turn around. Look and see! You were there! It was Lennon's mum! Oh, sorry, sorry guys, you have to say goodbye to you. Right. 
three seniors left. Here we go, Mrs. Stevenson, Amy Lee, take it away. Sit down. All right, Georgia, we're coming to you now. So there are three seats remaining, three, four and five. I would like you to write down the number chair you think your parent isn't sat in. It's either three, four or five. To remind everyone at home, could George's parent please raise their hand? <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, Georgia, you're looking worried. It's time to reveal which number chair do you think your parent isn't sat in? Five. Number five! It's time to see if you're right, juniors. Turn around. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't like this. Unfortunately, I don't like doing it. I'm sorry. That means we have to say goodbye to Jensen and Jensen's mum. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is it. This is the moment. We're about to find out our winner. Two seniors left. Two juniors left. Mrs. Stevenson, take it away. Okay, Elise, we are coming back to you. There are only two chairs remaining, chair three and chair four. Please now write down the number chair you think your parent isn't sat in. And to remind everyone at home, could Elise's parent please raise their hand? Okay, Elise, it's time to reveal which number chair do you think your parent isn't sat in? Number four. You're saying number four. If you're right, then you will win the tablet. But if you're wrong, then Georgia wins it. Best of luck. <laughs> OK. It's time to find out if you're right, juniors. Turn round. Good <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> mate. Oh, guys. Sorry about that. At least, sorry you were wrong. It was your mum that was sat in chair number four. And Georgia, you win the tablet! Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that, Georgia? Good? Yeah. Happy, excited? Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. Stuff. Brilliant. Happy, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, hey, unlucky to everybody else, but don't worry, you go home with a big Friday wind up goodie bag. Yeah. Yeah. George's dad, you got away with it scot free. You must feel pretty good. Yeah, you would have thought that, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, give it up for today's pupils in the school of shame. Hello, we're Ward Thomas, and just like Sam and Mark, we love to sing. The only difference is we do it in two. Applause going because they're joined by Union J. Yeah! As always, lads, lovely to have you on the show. How are you all doing? Yeah, really well. Yeah. Good. 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 Oh, nice to see you yeah. guys. Josh, Casey, have you uh, recovered from the wind up wheel? We have, it was just intense. about. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we, had, we had a good time, it was just a blast. Bless right. you, you're good sports, good sports. Yeah. Uh, now, boys, you three, you've been on wind up a few times we now have, in the yes. past. Yes, Casey, yes. you're new to wind it's up. It's my first time. How, how, yeah. How's it feel? Have we made you feel it welcome? It feels good, yeah, I feel very welcome. Yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah I feel good. Apart from the spinny wheel. Apart uh, from that, obviously. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and how does it feel to be in the band? Because you're still a fairly new member. Literally, I love it. It's like I've known them, like, I don't want to sound too cringe, but like all my life, you know what I mean? Like, it's good. It was it was borderline cringe. We're going to let you know. I know I was going there. <laughs> Do you have to change your name to JC? Um, no. Because no, what's actually no, 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 no. The funny Is thing it? was Casey I, J. No, but the other day there was an article that was written about Casey that was hit, and they called him James Casey. Yeah. So I call him and say, "Is your actual name James?" I was like, "No, it's no." Not. They've just spelled my name wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, you. <laughs> no, James Casey. James Casey. No, no, no. Casey. Yeah, he does. James. No, Casey. 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 Boys, you're going to be performing very, very soon. Just a few minutes, in fact. We're going to be singing for us. We're going to be singing "You Got It All," which is obviously our biggest hit, and it's our favorite. One and yes. um, we're really excited because we are in the studio and we've just pretty much finished the new album. So hopefully next yeah. time we're back, we'll be able to give you some next exclusive April. new music. Amazing! But Very right exciting. now we're fantastic. Old and oldies. Well, lads, thank you so much for being thank here. You. Looking forward to hearing the song at the end of the show. Give it up for you, Jay, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys.
slams William, but right now it's time to play ball for. We have come to the final game of the show. A battle of wits, strategy and balls. Let's welcome back our teams. It's Sebra Muscan's team! <laughs> and Zora's team! <laughs> Sebra, hello. Hello. <laughs> welcome back. Introduce the gang for us, please. Um, so, I'm Sebra. This is my mum, Nikki. This is my sister, Muscan. And the end one's my dad, Narinda. Excellent. Lovely <laughs> to have you here, guys. The end one. <laughs> the end one. <laughs> OK, and uh, Zora. Who have you got over here, please? Um, I have my dad, Chris, my sister, Lois, and my mum, Deborah. Chris, have you dried off, mate? Just about. He's dried off. Good. <laughs> Good. Let's explain the rules. Our teams are standing below a tank of balls, just waiting to drop on them. <laughs> we'll be asking you questions, each worth 1,500 balls. Get your question right, and those balls will fall on a member of the opposing team. But get it wrong, and the balls will fall on you! <laughs> <laughs> Each player's cubicle can hold up to 3,000 balls, it's so it's two strikes and you're buried. First team to be totally covered loses. And the winning team will go home with tonight's star prize, a games console. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yeah. They look ready, yeah. they look very scared as well. Brilliant. Remember, if at any time you want to get out of the tank, push the door behind you! Excellent. Wonderful. Here we go. Narinda, we're starting with you. In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is Charlie's surname? Well, I don't know. Have a guess. Mm. Adams? Oh, thanks for taking a guess, but it's not Adams, it was Bucket, which means number one, Narinda, the balls are falling on you! <laughs> It's good, isn't it? It's good. OK, Zara, we come to you. Here's your question. What is the name of the current Blue Peter tortoise? Shelly. That is the correct answer. Well done, Zara. <laughs> Which means you get to pick either one, two, three or four. Which one are you going for? One. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even have to think about it. OK, the balls are on number one. <laughs> OK, Muscan, it's Brilliant. time for your question. In a standard game of rock, paper, scissors, what can beat scissors? Paper. It's the wrong answer. <laughs> it's rock, which means number two, Muscan, the balls are falling on you! <laughs> Excellent. OK, next question is for you, Chris. Piglet is which character's best friend? Pooh Bear. I have just been informed that we can give you that. <laughs> it's Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bear to his mates, yeah. and Piglet's his best mate. Yeah. So, yeah, you knew. You knew. <laughs> OK, so, we're either going for two, three or four. Chris, which one would you like? Got to be two. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the tactical oh, team. I like it. OK, number two, the balls are falling on you! Bye, Muscat! Swim to the front so we can see your face. <laughs> yeah, we can see you. <laughs> Nikki, it's time for your question. In which city would you find Nelson's column? London. That's the right answer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nikki, you get to nominate which member of Zara's team? Five, six, seven, or eight. I think I'm going to go for six because he's a head teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, head teacher, balls are falling on you. <laughs> right off his yard. Okay. The next question is for you, Lois. Finish the name of the CBBC show. Rank the 
prank is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> which means you can go for either three or four. Which one would you like to go for? Seeing this is somehow building an order, I'll go for number three. I like your style. OK, <laughs> number three, the balls are falling on you. Right, Oi. Seb, it's time for your question. It's a music question. We want to know which artist sings this song. Got the eye of the tiger. Kate Perry. That's the right answer. <laughs> OK, Seb, who are you going to nominate? Five, six, seven or eight? I wonder. It's got to be six. It's got to be number six. I'm calling on you. Bye, Chris. See you, mate. Had a shocker today, didn't he? Hey, Chris! Chris, let's have a, have a thumbs up, please, mate! Yay! Hey, hey. hey, Chris! Wiggle your knees for us! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! OK, the next question is for you, Deborah. <laughs> what date is American Independence Day? It's the 4th of July. You know what, Deborah? It is. Yeah, you're right. Well done. <laughs> Which means you can either go for three or four. What are you going for? Go for three. Poor Nikki. Oh. Oh, which means the balls are falling on you, number three. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up, Nikki. Yay! <laughs> so, Seba, it is all down to you. You got two lives though, so we're all right. We're all right. But here we go. How many eyes are there in the word Mississippi? Nick. Five. One. Five. Five. You're saying one. <laughs> Is that Nick? Five. Five. <laughs> Nick, 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 you're saying five. Seb the same one, you're both wrong, it was four. Oh. Which means number four, Seb, the balls are falling on you! <laughs> OK. Zora, we're back to you. And it's maths. Oof, sorry. What is 25% of 60? 15. That is the correct answer. Oh! Which means... I think I know where you're going, Zara. Number four, the balls are dropping on you! Release the balls. Let's release, Let's release the balls. The balls. Let's release push them. the balls out. Come on, push them out, Chris. Push them out, mate. Wow. We have our winner, and it's Zara's team! <laughs> the family, you're not going to be going home empty handed. You all get a big Friday wind up goodie bag. Is that all right? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. And don't forget, you've got that trip to the dumping ground. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But right now, give it up for Zara and her team. Let's But not before we said thank you to everyone we've surprised tonight. Yes, and a big thank you to our special guests, Amy Lee Hickman and Jess Ravel from the Dumping Ground. Round of hey. applause for those guys. <laughs> a massive round of applause for you, the Wind Up audience. <laughs> yes. We're back now, playing us out. These guys are far too good looking. Oh. It's you, DJ. Some people got passion, some people got wisdom, but you got it all. Some people got strength, some people got courage, some people got vision, but you got it all. Some people got drive, some people got talent, some people got style, but you got it all.
got it all. You got it all. Some people live a life, some people stay balanced. You're everything I ever wanted a girl. Cause you got it all. Thank you. Thank you.